hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet a boat so to make this i have used single crochet stitches and did total 21 rounds to get this size and shape you can use this boat in any of your crochet decoration so before we start to make this crochet boat I would request you if you are watching my channel first time so please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to make this so to make this I am going to use this cotton thread of size number 3 you can make this with one color two color here I am going to use three colors cream navy blue and orange color and for this cotton thread i am going to use crochet hook of size 2.5 mm you will need one stitch marker so in round number one take your first color thread so here i am using this cream color thread and make a ring i am going to use a magic ring here So once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches so first make chain one then six single crochets into that ring one two like this total six single crochets So after six single crochet stitches if you are working in a magic ring just pull this loose end of the ring to close so round number one is done and we have six single crochet stitches now we are going to work continuously here we are not going to use a slip stitch and we are going to place this stitch marker in each first stitch of each round to keep track of the round and stitches so take your hook in top of first stitch here and make one single crochet place the marker then top of next stitch make one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochets one and one more same space so in this round we are going to repeat these stitches in next two stitch make one one single crochet and in your last stitch make two single crochet So round number two is done and we have eight single crochets now in round number three top of next one two and three stitch make one one single crochet three single crochet then top of next stitch make two single crochet repeat these stitches one more time in next three stitch make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number three is done and we have 10 stitches in round number four top of next two stitch make one one single crochet
after two single crochet next stitch make two single crochets then in next one two three and four stitch make one one single crochet after four single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet then in next two stitch make one one single crochet so round number four is done and we have 12 single crochet stitches now in round number five top of next five stitches make one one single crochet so after five single crochet next stitch make two single crochet now repeat one more time in next five stitches make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number five is done and we have 14 single crochet stitches now in round number six top of next three stitch make one one single crochet after three single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet then in next six stitch make one one single crochet So after six single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet then in last one two and three stitch make one one single crochet so round number six is done and we have 16 stitches now in round number seven top of next seven stitches make one one single crochet after seven single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet like this repeat this stitches one more time in next seven stitch make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number seven is done and we have 18 stitches now in round number 8 top of next 4 stitches make one one single crochet after 4 single crochet in next stitch make 2 single crochet next eight stitches make one one single crochet after eight single crochet next stitch make two single crochet
then in next one two three and four stitch make one one single crochet so round number eight is done and we have 20 stitches now in round number nine top of next nine stitches make one one single crochet After 9 single crochet, top of next stitch, make 2 single crochet. Repeat this stitches one more time. Top of next 9 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet, and on your last stitch, make 2 single crochet. So, round number 9 is done, and we have 22 stitches. Now, in round number 10. In top of next one, two, three, four, and five stitch, make one one single crochet. After five single crochet, in next stitch, make two single crochet. Then in next 10 stitches, make one one single crochet. After 10 single crochet, in next stitch, make two single crochet. Then in next 5 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. So round number 10 is done and we have 24 stitches. Now in round number 11, top of next 11 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. So after 11 single crochet, next stitch make 2 single crochet. Now repeat this stitches one more time. Top of next 11 stitches make 1 1 single crochet and on your last stitch make 2 single crochet. So round number 11 is done and we have 26 stitches. On round number 12, top of next six stitches make one one single crochet after six single crochets top of next stitch make two single crochet Then in next 12 stitches, make one one single crochet. After 12 single crochet, in next stitch make 2 single crochet. Then in next 6 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. So 
so round number 12 is done and we have 28 stitches now in round number 13 top of next 13 stitches make one one single crochet So after 13 single crochet, top of next stitch, make 2 single crochet. Now repeat this stitches. Top of next 13 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet and on your last stitch, make 2 single crochet. So round number 13 is done and we have 30 single crochets. Now in round number 14, in next 7 stitch make 1 1 single crochet after 7 single crochet in next stitch make 2 single crochet Then in next 14 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. After 14 single crochet, next stitch make 2 single crochet. Then in next 7 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. So round number 14 is done and we have 32 single crochet stitches now in round number 15 top of next 15 stitches make one one single crochet After 15 single crochets, in next stitch, make 2 single crochet. Now repeat this stitches. Top of next 15 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. And then on your last stitch, make 2 single crochet. When you work the 15 single crochet and come to your last stitch. So here make 1 single crochet. And when you work on your second single crochet, we are going to attach the second colored thread. So I'm going to take this orange colored thread and attach. So hold the thread like this. Now grab and pull from this two loop. So the second color will come on your hook. Now pull the first color thread. Now cut first color thread with some margin. So round number 15 is done and we have 34 single crochet stitches. Now round number 16 we are going to work with our second color. Now in next 16 stitches with second color make one one single crochet.
after 16 single crochets top of next stitch make two single crochet now repeat this stitches top of next 16 stitches make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 16 is done and we have 36 stitches now in round number 17 make chain one now turn your work now we are going to work the back loop of the stitches so you can see the stitch has a V shape so this is the front loop and this is the back loop so we are going to work on the back loop of the stitches so skip your turning chain and work in back loop in the next 17 stitches make one one single crochet so take your hook in the back loop of first stitch one single crochet then in next one single crochet then in next one so like this in total 17 single crochets So after 17 single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet work in back loop now repeat this stitches work in back loop and in next 17 stitches make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 17 is done and we have 38 single crochet stitches now in round number 18 now we are going to work in both the loop of this stitch how we normally work so in next 18 stitches make one one single crochet so take your hook in top of first stitch make one single crochet then in next stitch one single crochet so like this make total 18 single crochets So after 18 single crochets in next stitch make two single crochet so like this repeat this stitches in next 18 stitches make one one single crochet and on your last so when you work the 18 single crochet and the last two single crochet so when you work on your last single crochet here again we are going to change the color to our third color so take the third color thread and we are going to attach this here so grab the thread and pull from this two loop now pull this thread and cut this thread with some margin now number 18 is done and we have 40 stitches now in round number 19 we are going to work with third color so top of next 19 stitches make one one single crochet
so after 19 single crochets in next stitch make two single crochet now repeat this stitches in next 19 stitches make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 19 is done and we have 42 stitches now in round number 20 in next 20 stitches make one one single crochet So after 20 single crochet in next stitch make two single crochets now repeat this stitches in next 20 stitch make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 20 is done and we have 44 stitches now in round number 21 and this is our last round top of next 21 stitches make one one single crochet So after 21 single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet now repeat this stitches in next 21 stitches make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 21 is done if you just fold this to upside like this now we are going to make the border so to make the border i am going to use a reverse single crochet stitches but uh, if you want you can make one one slip stitch in top of each stitches so top of first stitch first i am going to make one slip stitch now we are going to make the reverse single crochet stitches so to make the reverse single crochets we are going to work to the right direction so take your hook in top of very first single crochet here now grab this thread and pull from this stitch and pull from here so when you pull this thread this thread will come in first place in your hook and the second loop was already in your hook now grab the thread and pull from first two loop like this now again take your hook in top of next stitch next single crochet now grab the thread now grab the thread and pull from that stitch so again the first loop come from this thread and second loop is already in your hook now grab the thread pull from next two loop first now in top of next single crochet grab and pull the thread two loop grab the thread pull from next two loop so 
so like this we are going to make this reverse single crochet stitches and going to make the border so we are going to work in each single crochet stitch until we reach to the starting stitch the blue color thread place this in the center here Hold. now in a straight line take this thread at the bottom So this boat is ready i hope you have learned from this video if you have any questions or query please do let me know in comment section so see you in my next video till then bye bye take care